Yes, Abernathy was King's closest confidant, and this building behind me was Ralph Abernathy's church from 1961 to about 1972. Some of the most tumultuous years of the civil rights movement, a lot of planning took place here, and then Abernathy's church and flock moved away, and it's been mostly an empty hulk ever since. Southern law enforcement agencies have demonstrated now and again. The speaker is Martin Luther King Jr. The man on the left is Ralph Abernathy, who co-founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. While Dr. King was the high-profile spokesman and leader of the movement, Abernathy was King's most reliable companion. In 1962, King convinced Abernathy to move from Alabama to Atlanta and become pastor at this church on what was then called Hunter Street. Within its granite walls, <laughs> workers are restoring the airy sanctuary that filled up to hear Abernathy's weekly sermons. They've already repaired a roof that had failed from years of neglect. Some damaged stained glass windows remain on the to-do list. So I think the fact that they're getting the initial federal investment to shore up the structure and begin that work yeah, it's great news. The church is vacant because Dr. Abernathy and his flock moved to a much larger church on what's now Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. The old Hunter Street Church's future is still unclear, but one outlook mimics that of Ebenezer Baptist Church on the other side of downtown. Dr. King's old church building is now run by the National Park Service and is one of Atlanta's busiest tourist attractions. John Amon of the West Side Future Fund views Hunter Street as a landmark on its own. I think the best case scenario is that it's fully restored um, and becomes a great site uh, for folks to visit and get educated and, and learn about the wonderful leadership that came out of the church and the important role um, that the Abernathy's played in our civil rights movement. And this is a church, a historic church building that is about a mile west of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Hunter Street, by the way, is no longer called Hunter Street. Uh, it was renamed several decades ago to uh, a name you may recognize, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Back to you. Doug, thank you. Today's MLK